So like this is just like a little quick little stat, little tidbit for people out there. 135 games, 1,100 yards, right? 135. So if you double that, it's 270. So 284 games for Jerry Rice, 22,000 yards, 800. But he had a little, he had a couple hundred in there, or whatever. So if you add in, if you do, if you do the math, technically he would have had more um, receiving yards than them. And respectfully, uh, Calvin Johnson just done what no other receiver could do. I don't know. He was just super fast. Super you could have a lot of receivers, though. Nah, he ran. Bro, he they ran did. Four, they three, did with another receiver. Can do. Nah, but that's the thing, though. There's not another. There's not one thing another receiver can do that he can't. Like Tyree killing him could race, and I don't know who gonna get that race if they race from start to finish the full hundred yards. Tyree kill probably gonna get it by a little bit, but not by much. And then other than that, Calvin Johnson's probably the best route runner of all time, or he's arguably in the top five, the top ten. And probably anybody's list ever. Like, Doggy Bone could run any route. And he could run any route really good with different speeds and all types of shit. Oh, you feel me? That's just why I got him up there. But what did you say he ran? A 4-3-5 in the 40. A 4-3-5. But well, Randy ran a 4-3-2. That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm, but, like, you're not saying, like, he couldn't run routes as good as what Calvin Johnson could. No, nah, but it, even then, it's like the the Moss Factor. No, the Moss Factor is there for sure, for sure. But Calvin had that too. It was just called the Moss Factor. Like, that's just what it was. Don't think Calvin couldn't go do that. I'm not saying do it, but I'm just like, that's what, that's what I'm saying. Like, I, I feel where you coming from, but it's like, what's going what's gonna to get that done at the end of the day, too? You know, that's a, that's something you gotta include. What you too. mean? What's gonna get that done? Throw that joint up to him, bro. He he was quadruple teamed. Like they they got a linebacker, both safeties ready to shift over, and the DB right there. They hated him just like they hated Randy Moss. Like I don't think Jerry Rice took that much dominance on the defense personally. Like so, I think that's why I gotta put Calvin and Randy above him. You know what I mean? Yeah, I feel, I I'll definitely feel you with the Jerry Rice debates. Um, but I can't argue the numbers, though. I can't. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You, you can't argue. Exactly. You, can't, you can't argue with the fuck you put up. You're talking about the beginning of his career. At the end of his career, Jerry Rice was always in double coverage. And the thing is, you weren't talking about much of a passing offense back then. It was more mm-hmm. about the defense of people had to run. He had to work to get open and run good routes. It's a lot different than what it is now, to be honest. So you think Jerry Rice ran better routes than Calvin Pops? You think he's probably the best route runner then? No, I ain't watching that much. Team. No, I'm just saying it seems like you were cutting Jerry short. Yeah, and I ain't trying to. What I'm just saying that's what it sounded like from what he really was. Yeah, no, nah, Jerry Rice definitely is like top tier, like Jerry, of, above what, everybody. He, he was what you call a true technician. Yeah, I'm. I'm giving. I'm taking. I'm only taking credibility away from Jerry because of the quarterback he had. That's 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 the only QB though, Pop. Place. But I mean, every every that's good receiver is going to eventually get a good quarterback, or like you'll see eventually like, the though, but not, and stuff that that just didn't get a good quarterback at the beginning of their career. But not on no like, franchise shit though. But not on no franchise shit though. Oh, so you're talking about. They were good quarterbacks, but they come from a really good. They, they're surrounded a lot about around a lot of good, great, skilled position players. Over time, if you look at what the quarterbacks were, look at who were on their team back then. How the running back for him was Roger fucking Craig. Are you serious? <laughs> I mean, that's one of the best. You're talking about a premier back right there, and Roger Craig, who come from Nebraska. He was one of my favorite backs coming out of college. But it's just, I feel like Detroit was so booty pop that, like, they were losing so many games by halftime. It was just, like, so easy for them to dial in on Calvin and render, like, even stats that he could get. And he still almost got two, or still got two, damn near 2,000 yards in a season. 
Like that's but, just uh, that's just crazy to me, pops. Yeah, but also you gotta look at this. Look at it this way: you're in it like a a team like the Chargers, somebody who's throwing the ball, the pill all over the field, and throwing it fifty times. That's fair, first. but he was also like throwing two picks every first half and making them down fourteen to twenty one points, and. Now it's like, okay, let's double Calvin and make him work for every catch that he get. And he over there breaking double team tackles and being guarded by two DBs at the same time. Don't do don't do not do this to yourself. That's I, just football though. I'm not I'm just now saying you, I think I, I got Calvin one, Pops. That's all. Now you're starting to downgrade Stafford. Do not do that to yourself. I'm not downgrading Stafford. I'm just saying like how the games went. So like I'm not saying Stafford wasn't a good like isn't a good quarterback still, but I'm saying the fact of the matter is is that they were losing those games going into halftime a lot, so that makes it a lot easier for them to target in on you know Calvin Johnson in my opinion. You know that means you're gonna throw the ball more. He's gonna have more receptions when they're running. Mm. They're gonna throw the ball more. Period. I don't care if it's in double covers or triple covers. For sure. So you got Jerry Rice one? No, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying when you're talking about him, it seemed like that was a thing. Like he didn't. Really, he had, he was in a. He was a like I said. He was a true technician. I, I ranked him third. Yeah, I agree. I put him under Randy and uh, Calvin. I I was just talking about the way you were talking about him, like I didn't me. really say nothing about him. That's why I don't really know what you're saying. But okay. <laughs> Talking for a second. I did, what? It, I'm saying it like for Calvin, like I said, he to me he was a different kind of receiver. He wasn't more of a route runner. He was a physical go get the contested balls. Anything that was close to him, he pretty much caught. And the thing is, he could pretty much track down anything that was in the air. There were different kinds of receivers over time. I, I feel you, Pop, but his route running was crazy. Oh, yeah, I'm not saying it wasn't. But as far as to me, I thought that Rice was not, I liked this better. That's my personal opinion. As far no, as I'm not mad at you. Yeah, you like Rice, you like Rice and them. Calvin. That's cool. I put them out of tie with the route running. I ain't gonna put one above the other. As a receiver, I would rather have a Calvin Johnson just because it can just contest his balls. What he'll come up with on the 50, 50 catches. Oh yeah, all you gotta do is just though as long as he can get a hand on it, it's it's catchable. Like, man, he ain't gonna reach with one hand, he's gonna reach with both, and you don't even know how he's gonna be able to do that, but he is. Like and he's a secure catch too. Like that's what's that's what's crazy about him. He don't care about doing one hand catches. He do it if it's like needed. Other than that, same thing with Randy and what. Other than that, it was random moments when it was like, oh, it's a free one hand to him. Other than that, it was two hands on the ball unless the other receiver or the DB is just holding the wide receiver's arm down and he just has to pluck it one hand over the top ski bread basket. I don't know. I, I just I just ain't get to see Jerry Rice do it all like that. That's that's you know. But I got Calvin there. But yep, that's the list though. To is nice too though. To is nice too. I don't know who Art Monk was, but they got him on this on a list over here. Just, um, and they got Charlie Joyner. Yeah. Was he good? Charger. Yeah. And then yep. James Loft James uh Lofton for Buffalo. Yep. And then Fred Beltnikoff for the Raiders. Belit yeah, Fred Belitnikoff. Belitnikoff. <laughs> oh, I forgot about Michael Irvin. He was tough too. Andre Reed. Was Andre Reed good, Pops? Yep. Was he better in Hines Ward? Actually, him and Ben Coach was on my team when I won to go. Oh, shit. Pop's having uh, fantasy flashbacks, Moop. <laughs> he said, oh, yeah, you contributed to my team. 
<laughs> Give him flowers. <laughs> Subscribe to the Juice and Pop Show.